Hi, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. So, we are proving examples as part of inverse trigonometric functions. We are looking at different types of problems so that we can be able to do all the types of patterns. So, this is one type of problem. We have been given that tan inverse x plus tan inverse y plus tan inverse z equal to pi. We have to prove x plus y plus z equal to x y z. Instead of pi, if it is pi by 2, then we have to prove x y plus y z plus z x equal to 1. So, what will be our first step? First step will we will take it as angle. We will say tan inverse x equal to alpha, tan inverse y equal to beta and tan inverse z equal to comma. So, we know alpha plus beta plus comma equal to pi. This is the first part and this is the second two problems right first one I am doing here second one I will be doing here in the second case it is alpha plus beta plus comma equal to pi by 2 right now if tan inverse x equal to alpha we know that x equal to tan alpha y equal to tan beta plus z equal to z equal to tan gamma. Now, I can write alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to pi as alpha plus beta equal to pi minus gamma. I can write that, right? It's just simple manipulation. Now, if I apply tan on both sides, what happens? If I say tan of alpha plus beta equal to tan of pi minus gamma applied tan on both sides. Now what is this? Tan alpha plus tan beta by 1 minus tan alpha tan beta is equal to we know the formula right? This is tan of a minus b. So you know that tan of pi minus gamma is nothing but equal to tan gamma so you can write it as it is. How you know that? Tan of pi minus gamma. That means if you take four quadrants, in the in the second quadrant tan is negative. So this is minus. Okay, right. Now let's substitute the values of x, y, z in this. What will have? X plus y by 1 minus x y equal to minus of z that's nothing but equal to x plus y equal to minus z plus x y z and that's nothing but equal to if you bring a z to the left side you will have x plus y plus z equal to x y z I hope it's clear right what we did we just took tan inverse function as angle then we have applied tan on both sides we got alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to pi we have applied the tan on both sides then we have seen that substituting back x plus y plus z equal to x y z now let's look at the second one now we have done all the hard work right we have x equal to tan alpha y equal to it can be used in both of them so now if if I apply tan it becomes tan of alpha plus beta equal to tan of pi by 2 minus gamma now what is tan of pi by 2 minus gamma tan of pi by 2 minus gamma is cot gamma let's uh, just put down this formula tan alpha plus tan beta by 1 minus tan alpha tan beta equal to tan pi by 2 minus gamma is cot gamma which I will write it as 1 by tan gamma. Now we can substitute x y z values x plus y by 1 minus x y equal to 1 by z. If you do cross multiplication you will have 
xz plus yz equal to 1 minus xy and if I bring xy this side I'll have xy plus yz plus zx equal to 1 that's what we have to prove so it's very simple what we have done we have taken the angle then afterwards we have applied the tan function on both sides we know that tan of pi minus gamma is minus tan gamma and tan of pi by 2 minus gamma is cot gamma that's nothing but 1 by tan gamma if we just do the back substitution for tan alpha as x and tan beta as y we'll be getting what needs to be proved so see you in the next video which will be mostly our last video in inverse trigonometric functions we'll close inverse trigonometric functions and we'll move to the hyperbolic functions thanks for visiting bye for now